Good morning. Great to have everybody here. I'm going to invite Colleen Fast up before we get started. Colleen Fast is one of the ICS team that's been working effortlessly on making this happen today. Colleen? Good morning. We begin this gathering by acknowledging the land on which we gather is the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe peoples, many of whom continue to live and work here today. This territory is covered by the, by the Upper Canada Treaties and is within the land protected by the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Agreement. Today this gathering place is home to many First Nations, Métis and Inuit peoples, and acknowledging this reminds us that our great standard of living is directly related to the resources and friendship of Indigenous people. I'd like to now introduce our MC and uh, conference organizer, Kevin Graham. That's a big title. Thank you, Colleen. This is, good morning. Oh, jeez. We're not going to start this. Good morning. That's better. Yeah, I'm going, Kevin. <laughs> Kipfield is ready to go. He's ready to go. He got in about 2 o'clock this morning from the casino. He's ripping and ready to go. <laughs> I got to take a picture because my mom's in the hospital and she doesn't understand why I'm not there today. So I just want to prove to her I had something going on. For, thank you, Colleen, again. So welcome to the District School of Niagara's 7th International Concussion Summit Preventions, Diagnosis, and Treatment. Can you believe it's been seven years? Many have been here since day one, others are new, so welcome. The summit is made possible, of course, thanks to the vision of our director, Warren Hashisaki, his cute brother, Blaine Hashisaki. <laughs> He's far cuter. Just don't wait till he comes up. He's on day two. We're saving him the big guns to the end. <laughs> we, you don't want to miss that. And the hard work of the ICS team, you might be already Colleen Fast, who worked effortlessly. Roy Smith, who has a blue shirt that he wears for the last seven years. <laughs> and of course, our superintendent, Michael St. John's, who did all the heavy lifting. Ex-hockey player, him and Nick had a long talk about their hockey career. One lasted slightly longer than the other. <laughs> and a special thanks to Laura and Amanda, at the registration desk, who I would attempt to say their last name, but I'm sure it'll be futile. We're excited to welcome representatives from 37 school boards from across Canada, as well as 160 healthcare professionals from Canada and the USA. This year's summit is proudly presented once again by the District School Board of Niagara and Ophia, funded in part by the Ministry of Heritage, Sports, Tourism, and Cultural Industries. At this time, I'd like to now introduce your director, Warren Hashisaki. I didn't know we had a comedy act to open this thing. Good morning, everyone. Uh, the District School Board of Niagara is pleased to welcome everyone to the 7th International Concussion Summit. We are hosting this summit in partnership with the Ontario Physical and Health Education Association and the Ministry of Heritage, Sport, Tourism, and Cultural Industries. I would like to thank our Ontario Ministry of Education for partially funding this event. In the seven years since we uh, held our conference, concussion awareness amongst Canadians has grown. Legislation like Rowan's Law and high-profile cases in sport, professional sport have helped us better understand the devastating impacts of concussions. But there's more work to be done. The highest rates of concussion in Ontario amongst, is, are amongst children and youth under 18 years old. Sadly, children and youth account for approximately 33% of all traumatic brain injuries. Yet, this age group comprises a small percentage of our total population, only around 15%. Such a small portion of the most vulnerable population is suffering from one-third of all concussions. Through education, we believe that we can reduce the number of concussions suffered by children and youth and support the positive recovery of those injured. That's why your participation in this summit is so vital. You're an important group who are on the front lines of concussion education and prevention. Your educators, your coaches, healthcare professionals, and community agencies. You're going to help make a difference to concussions suffered by children and youth 
By participating in this conference, you are demonstrating your commitment to helping students reach their potentially unhindered by injury. A special thank you to the world-renowned experts who are here sharing their information at the summit. I would especially like to thank the people who are going through de debilitating concussions and who are here today to share their experiences to help us learn. To Denise Dwyer from the Ontario Ministry of Education and Chris Markham from MOFIA, thank you for your support and leadership and reduction of concussions. Now there's one other thing I have to say. The one thing about this event, the only problem is I have my brother for two days. <laughs> and he eats a lot. And I find him sometimes lurking in front of my wine cellar, just looking around and I had to put a lock on it because of that, <laughs> right? So he's going to do a presentation tomorrow and he, he has told me that it's different. It's not the same old lame stuff that he usually brings here, <laughs> but he's told me he is, you know, he's ready for something different. So I hope it is. Make sure that you critique it and let me know how he does because I won't be here, so <laughs> anyway. Thank you very much for coming. I hope you have a great experience and learn a lot and from uh, this summit. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Director of Education has a wine cellar. I got a wine box at home. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. If you're tweeting the official hashtag for her, because I walked up on the stage, he's a, and she texts me, he's a nice guy, isn't he? And he certainly is. Thank you very much for sharing your story, Nick. What a great story. What a tribute to hockey you have been, and how exciting it is for us to have you here and share it. So thank you very much once again. Now, just a few items. If you need assistance with anything, we have volunteers to help you. They will have a blue stripe down their side with the ICS team. I have that, but I won't help you because <laughs> but there's other people with this that will help you. So look for them. You can also ask for assistance at the registration desk. Um, two young people back there, Lori and Amanda. Uh, lunch will be served at the Brother Restaurant, which is just down the hall here in the opposite side of the ballroom from 12 o'clock till 1.15. And for those staying overnight tonight, breakfast will be available at the Watermark Restaurant, a very nice restaurant on the 33rd floor using the South Tower from 7.30 in the morning to 8.45. And then they'll be telling you to leave to come down here. We need to show your uh, name tag uh, both at lunch and at, at the buffet, at the breakfast buffet. We'd like to thank our many sponsors who you'll see at the networking area for the various contributions that they made to the Concussion Summit thus far. We could have done it without you. It's now time for our first break. Please enjoy your refreshments, visit our exhibitors booth, and then make your way back to the ballroom for a Roland Law panel in a few minutes. Yeah. Oh, did he? Yeah. Nice thing. Yeah. 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 Y